Okay. Hi, thank you for coming to today's workshop. So today is going to be a level up APA citations. Uh, my name is Luz and I'm a librarian here at SMC Library. And today we're going to be going over APA citations. So for today, specifically, we're going to cover um, what are some reasons why we should create citations, how to locate articles, creating an APA style citation and reference page, and then we're going to go over some additional resources that might be helpful to you as you're creating your APA citations. Just a note, this workshop is being recorded, so please make sure to have your mute on, which you already do, so thank you for that, and your camera is allowed to be off. So before we get started, do you have any questions um, specifically about APA? If you do, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, and if not, that's totally okay. I will be looking at the questions as we go through the presentation. Okay, no questions. So let's get started. So why should we cite? So there are three main reasons why you should be creating citations. Um, the first one is you're giving credit uh, where it's due. You're giving credit to the individual who created the piece of information that you are pulling information from. Secondly, you create an information trail. So what this means is when you are creating citations, whoever is reading uh, your research paper, for example, or an assignment where you may have created some citations, uh, you're allowing the reader to then see who you cited and then gives them the opportunity to then look further into uh, your citations and read additional information that might be related to whatever you wrote since you are citing somebody. Thirdly, you gain credibility. So you're giving yourself credibility by citing other individuals. Um, you're showing that you are a researcher yourself uh, and your ideas and opinions matter. So. Uh, when we do have our citations created, uh, it lets the reader know that you've done your research, that you've created your citations, and you've given credit where it's due, um, and that sort of thing. So locating articles. So on the library homepage, there are two ways that you can go about locating articles. One being OneSearch, which is the search bar that appears right on the library website when you immediately click on it. And another way that you can locate articles is through our databases. So either one of these avenues is all right for searching for articles. They both will give you uh, similar but not exactly the same results. So it's really up to you how you want to go about looking for your articles. Now creating your APA style citations. So there are a number of components that make up your APA style um, paper when you are putting one together, one being the in-text citations. So those are going to be the citations uh, that are within your paper when you are citing or pulling information from a resource. And then there's also the references page citations, which is going to be the page that appears at the very end of your research paper. So creating APA style citations. So the in-text citations, there are two ways that you can create your in-text citations. Um, but they're going to depend on how it is you are citing the information. So, for example, if you are not directly quoting from a resource, but you're sort of alluding to an idea or um, a piece of information that was written, you would go about entering the author's last name and then year of publication. And you can see there's an example here, Jones, comma, 1998. If you are directly quoting from somebody, which meaning you're taking an exact quotation from a piece of work, you are going to then do similarly as if you weren't quoting them, but in this case, you would be adding the page number. So here you would have the author's last name, year of publication, and page numbers. Keep in mind that if you are only citing from one page, you're going to use 1P, and if the quotation um, that you are taking from this resource is throughout more than one page, you are going to quote the number of pages from which that quotation is taking space from. So you can see then we would use a double P to signify that there are multiple pages. 
So now creating your references page citations. So here you can see three different examples of citations in APA style. The first one being a book, the second one an article from an electronic journal, and then the third a web page or piece of online content. So these are just three examples of resources that you can cite in APA, um, but there are a number of resources that you may encounter when you are putting a paper together uh, and that you might uh, create citations for. But I just wanted to point out these three, which are usually the more popular types of resources that are quoted. Um, you can see they all have very similar components, um, but also a thing or two that makes them different from each other. So we're gonna go in depth into this uh, moving forward, uh, but just keep in mind that each resource that you cite is gonna have different components of information. So before we move on, is there any questions so far? Yeah, I just wondered if on the web page at the bottom, it said that the title was italicized and I think, is that still right? Yes, so it still continues um, to be italicized for a web page or piece of online content. Okay, I don't think I've, I don't think I've done that. And okay, it it hasn't been. I didn't italicize it, and it's been okay. But I'll double check. Yeah, it's always also good to double check with your instructor since they all will be um, either lenient about a particular component um, appearing a certain way or uh, about um, the citations that they're willing to take. Um, so it's always a good idea to double check with your professor. Um, I will go over some resources um, later down the road that you can refer to to double check your citations when you are putting them together. Thank you for your question. Okay. So creating an APA style reference page. So these are gonna be sort of the rules that you follow when you put, you're put you putting your reference page together. So first off, the title of the page has to be references. If there's only one citation that you are uh, referring to, then the title page would be reference without the S. Uh, we do want this title to be bolded just as it appears here. Uh, the margins of your page are gonna be one inch. The font size, typically 12 point is recommended since it's easy to read. Anything smaller than that might be a little bit difficult to read, um, especially if it's on print. Font styles, sans serif fonts are what, what are used in APA style. Um, an example of this type of font would be Times New Roman. And then the text alignment for your document or references page is gonna be left. And then you're also going to want to make sure that your page is double spaced and that you are using hanging indents. So this is an example of an APA style references page already put together. So we can see we have the bolded and centered title references with an S because we can see that we have more than one citation here. We have the authors or organizations listed in alphabetical order. You can see we have the hanging indent also in place here. Um, the resources are double spaced. And then lastly, you'll notice that there's a page number up on the right corner. So we are gonna have our document numbered all the way to the references page. Any questions so far? Um, on the link, the links have to be included, right? Like the hyperlink needs to be included in the reference page? Yes. So depending on the type of resource, you're either going to include the DOI or you're going to include the URL of the website, for example. Perfect. Thank you for that. Okay. So software to use when you are putting your references page together uh, there are a number of software tools you can use. First off, we have Word, uh, which is the one that we recommend. Uh, it is accessible to you as an SMC student. Um, you have access to the Office applications on your mobile phone, and you can also access the Office applications on your personal computer. So if you do 
set up Office on your personal computer, you will have access to all of these um, different tools that come with um, or along with Office on your personal computer. We also, you can also use Google Docs and Pages, which is uh, specific to Apple. So it's really up to you which software tool you want to use, um, but we recommend Word and I'll go over why in a bit. So this is Word and this is what the formatting looks like. Um, and this is why we recommend it. You can see that you can set up your paper all in this um, one feature. So you can see we have the alignment set to the left. We have the hanging indent applied. And then we also have the line spacing set to double. Uh, so this means that it's going to make sure that our paper is aligned to the left. The hanging indents are in place and that everything that we put into the document is going to be double spaced. Any questions about that so far? I know how to do it in Word. I just don't know how to do it in Google yet. I'm still trying to figure that one out. OK, yes. Um, Google is a little bit different and actually requires more than one step. So in Word, you can see that everything is um, sort of in one place here in this square. Um, in Google, you actually have to do two different um, or use two different functions to set up the paper in comparison to Word. Got it. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. OK. So before I demo um, how to put a references page together, these are some resources to keep in mind as you're working on your papers or assignments and you're putting your um, citations together. So first off, we have a research guide titled Introduction to Research on the library website, and I'll go over how to get to that in a bit. Um, but we do have a tab for creating citations and one specifically for APA style citations. So there you can find uh, sample citations uh, for you to refer to and also other resources linked that may be helpful to you as you're putting your papers together. We also have a Writing and Humanities Tutoring Center here on campus. Uh, so the Writing and Humanities Tutoring Center offer writing support at any stage to all SMC students. Uh, you can make one hour tutoring appointments and these appointments can be made in Coursera Connect. And this is what the button looks like in there. It says tutoring appointments. So now it's my turn. So I'm going to actually look for a book and article on the library website, create an APA style references page with those two resources that I find, and then cite the book and article in the references page. Let's go to the library website. So before I actually start searching for those two resources, I'm going to point out where the research guide lives. So here on the right side, we have the research guides rectangle. If you click on that, scroll down to research resources. And I'm going to actually click on introduction to research. And here you can see the creating citations tab on the left side and APA should appear there. So if I click on that, you can see we have a handout specifically made for SMC students where you can find examples of in-text citations here as well as reference page citations for you to refer to as you're putting your references page together. If you scroll down further, you can see we have some APA style resources listed as well. So we do have access to an APA manual here in the library and it's linked there. There's also some APA citation guides listed there as well to give you further examples of APA citations that may not necessarily appear in this document. And also a sample APA paper that you can refer to to check uh, your research paper once you finish putting it together. We also offer our library workshops like the one you're attending now, which is titled Level of APA Workshop. So this workshop is being recorded and once it has been transcribed will appear on our YouTube channel, which will then be linked here. 
And we also have a video of how to create hanging indents that you can refer to as well. You can also see that the Writing and Humanities Tutoring Center has been listed here in case that is a resource you want to use as you're putting your citations together. Okay, so let's go back to the library website. So I'm going to look for a book first off. So I'm going to look for Love in the Time of Cholera, which is already here. And it looks like the first book is it. So I'm going to click on it. This is a print copy of the book that we have here in the library. Um, and I'm looking for it using OneSearch because I want to point to the citation tool that appears here. So OneSearch, our research resources that are listed in OneSearch will have the option of creating a citation. And the tool is here in the center. You can find the citation in various citation formats. We are doing APA, so I'm going to select APA. And then here should be the citation. So I am going to copy this citation. You can see we have something to work with, um, and we don't have to create this citation from scratch, which, which is really helpful. Um, and I'm going to actually go ahead and paste it into the Word document that I have over there. recommend that you double check your citations when you are pulling them from the web because they are not always correct, even if they are coming from the library. So always keep that in mind. Luz, would you include the permalink or no? For this resource specifically, no, because it is a um, print copy. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the library website and I'm going to look for an article using one of our databases. So the databases are listed here on the library website. And for this example specifically, I'm going to use Academic Search Complete. But before I do that, I just want to point out that we do have 111 databases listed here. Um, you can filter through them by subject and you can see here we have a various amount of subjects that you can choose from to help you narrow down which database you want to use. I'm going to click on Academic Search Complete. And here I'm actually going to type in the title of the same book as well, just to see uh, what resources may be available covering this novel. So we have 49 results. For this article, I want to make sure that it's peer reviewed. So I'm going to select the filter that appears here, titled peer reviewed. And now you can see we went from 49 to seven results. And these seven should be peer reviewed. I'm going to select the second result just for the sake of this example. And you can see here, the article hasn't immediately populated. But if you scroll down, you should be able to find the article in this database this way. To get the citation for this article, we also have a tool that appears as well. Here, instead of appearing in the center, it's going to appear on the right side under the word cite. If I select cite, the citation should appear in a number of citation styles. We are using APA. And so I'm going to copy and paste this resource to our Word document. You can see that for this one, because it is coming from an electronic journal, it already has the DOI included.
Okay, so now we have two resources linked here. You can see they are both not ready to be submitted in APA style. So I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman, 0.12. You wanna make sure that they are not bolded. And then I wanna make sure the title appears. We are going to do references with an S because we have more than one. Bolt it and center it. Now I'm going to select this and go to the right corner to the three dots that read more options. And here you are going to go to paragraph options. And the square that we went over in the slides should appear here. So for alignment, we want to make sure it's set to left. For special, we want to make sure it is hanging. And then for line spacing, we want to make sure it is set to double space. So we have the left alignment hanging, indentation selected, and the line spacing set to double space. And now you can see it has formatted our citations. I'm going to remove this extra space between the two resources and then make sure that this is centered again. Okay. So now you can see we have our two resources listed here. I'm going to double check the first one, which is a book with the research guide that I showed you all. So again, going to creating citations, APA style. And then here in this handout, I'm going to scroll down to references page and look for a book citation. So we have a book citation here and I'm going to cross-reference it with this one. So we have the author's name in year of publication, author's name, year of publication, title of the book. So we have title of the book here. And then we also have the publication source, which is vintage. And it looks like publication source is the last component here. So it looks like our book citation happens to be correct. Now I'm going to look at the article that we pulled from one of the databases to make sure that it's correct. So back to the handout, I'm going to look for article, journal article from a database with a DOI. So it looks like this is an example we're going to cross-reference. So it looks like we have the author's name, year of publication. We have the author's name, year of publication. We have the title. So it looks like we have the title here. Next, it looks like the journal title is appearing. So let's see that it says the journal title. Yes. And then let's see, we have volume and issue. We have the page number and the DLI. Volume and issue. Page number and DOI. So it looks like this citation also happens to be correct. So we got lucky for these two resources that we pulled because not always are the resources cited correctly when we're 
pulling them from a citation tool like the one that OneSearch uses or the database. So always double check your citations when you are putting them together. Before we say that this reference page has been formatted correctly, I'm noticing that the font color is not necessarily all correct. So I'm going to make sure that it is set to black. And now it looks like we have a completed references page, just removing the extra space that was appearing before the title. But here it is. So now it looks like we have a formatted page correctly with our references. Also noticing that it is in alphabetical order. The hanging indentation is in place. And everything seems to look correct except for this right here. So removing the space, and now it looks like it is correct. So you can see we put the references page together. It took a little bit of work, um, but that's okay. Always use the resources available to you to put your references page together. This way we know that they are correct and ready to be turned in. Back to my presentation. If you ever have any future questions, there are a number of ways that you can reach a librarian. So you can use a 24 7 live chat that appears on the library website. And you can chat with a librarian at any time of the day if you ever have any questions. You can also reach us at the reference desk, which appears immediately when you enter the library. The reference desk is always staffed by a librarian. And you can also reach us via phone if you ever have any questions but aren't necessarily on campus and aren't able to use a 24 seven live chat. Here's my reference page for the resource that I use to put this presentation together. If you're watching this workshop for extra credit, the code word is flower pot. And that's going to be it. Thank you everyone for attending this workshop.